If you asked me six months ago if the Roborock Sero Z70 and its robotic arm were worth it, I would have said no. But after a few key firmware updates and a better price, I might just have changed my mind. My name is Jamie Andrews and this is my review of the Roborock Sero's Z70. Think of the Z70 as a Sero's 10R, but with a robotic arm. I did a whole comparison video between these two, which I will link for you below in the description. I've also reviewed the Sero's 10R by itself, so if you decide the arm isn't for you, check that video out. Since the core functionality and features are basically identical between them, the 10R review is a much more in-depth look at the shared platform. Alrighty, let's get right down to the elephant in the room, the OmniGrip robotic arm. At the time of this review, Roborock still hasn't significantly expanded the list of items that it can pick up. Instead, they focused on refining the firmware for the current items, which I honestly think is the right move. When the Z70 launched months ago, that arm was rough. I couldn't find a single shoe in my house that it would actually pick up. And the sorting function? Well, it was hit or miss. Fast forward to today, and things are quite different, with a few notable exceptions. I tested both on carpet and hard floors to see if it made a difference, and oh yeah, it does. On carpet, it really struggles. I found that it had a really hard time identifying things, and I had very little success getting it to pick up the items. The only thing it grabbed was this basic sandal. On hard floors, that's where you'll see the biggest improvement. Almost every shoe I had in the house that we regularly wear was successfully picked up by the arm and carried to the shoe storage zone. That's just an area that you mark in the map editor. As far as socks and paper products, it did a really good job identifying and grabbing those without missing the mark. For these, it carried them to the included storage box, which you just place in the open area and mark on your map. It even picked up a wadded up paper ball and took it to the bin. This entire process is a huge improvement from the beginning, and as you can see, it works quite well now. That said, I would like to see Roborock start to introduce more items, like pet toys for example. I tested with a few, and while the Z70 avoided them perfectly, it didn't try to pick them up. So at this point in the video, if you're still interested in that robotic arm, you'll need to know what trade-offs were made to accommodate it, and how that impacts the cleaning performance. Let's start with the carpet pickup test. I scattered 54 grams of colored rice on medium pile carpet and set the vacuum to max plus to unleash all 22,000 pascals of suction power. It fell just 3 grams short of the 10 hours performance, picking up 49 grams or 91% of the rice. On my tile floor, I scattered 130 grams of cat litter, and it was a similar story. It fell only 1 gram short of the 10R, picking up 122 grams, or 93%, which is still a really good score. Now, I suspect those slightly lower scores are due to the free flow anti tangle brush and the much smaller 180 milliliter, really small internal dustbin. Both of these are downgrades from the 10R. I have two cats and long haired girls in my home. And I found the hair cutting system on the Z70 just didn't work very well, unlike the ones I have seen on the Dreamy models, which are very similar. I'm not really sure why, but it just doesn't. On the bright side, even though the dustbin is tiny, I did test the dock's ability to empty it when it was completely full, and unsurprisingly, it didn't struggle to do it. Where the Z70 doesn't compromise, though, is with mopping. Performance was right on par with the 10R. In my standard test, I used exactly 4 milliliters of baked on hot sauce on my tile floor, and the Z70 got it all up in just one pass. After that, I checked how well the dock cleaned the dirty pads. After one hot water wash, it removed about 80% of the stains, and a second cleaning bumped that up to about 90%. But here's the thing that really stood out to me, the hot water claim. Rubberock promises 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only did my thermometer read the exact temperature, but it maintained hot water for a full minute and a half. That beats any dock that I have tested to date. Now for object avoidance, the Z70 has the exact same system as the 10R, and just like the arm, it's seen some firmware upgrade improvements. In my carpet test, it successfully avoided every obstacle I laid out, except for the cord, which to be fair is often a struggle for these robots. 
Unsurprisingly, in my second object avoidance test, it also failed to see the cord dangling from the couch. But on the plus side, it stayed completely clear of the fake animal waste samples, which is always a big win. And just in general use running around my home, I've seen some great improvements in cord detection, specifically for cords that are running alongside the walls. All right, so let's quickly wrap up this with my final thoughts on the Roborock Seros Z70. I know this video isn't as in-depth as my usual reviews, but that's because I truly feel like this is just a 10R with three main changes, the robotic arm, the free flow brush, and a smaller dustbin. So I wanted to focus on these changes and the effectiveness of the arm. If you don't want or need a robotic arm, the answer is clear. Go for the Seros 10R. If you have shedding pets or a large house with lots of traffic, the smaller 180 milliliter dustbin and that less effective brush roller might just sway you back to the 10R as well. However, if you do want the robotic arm, I think at this point it's fairly effective at doing what it claims to do, especially on hard floors. I went from being completely unimpressed to pretty darn impressed in just six months. Assuming Roborock continues to refine the firmware, this arm should only become more effective over time. I also have to mention that the dock on both the Z70 and the 10R is to date my favorite design. Well, that is aside from the mirrored finish, of course. I've noticed some recent sales for the Seiro Z70, and if you're interested, I will leave my link to purchase below. If you choose to use those links, they don't cost you a thing, but they really help support my efforts to make these videos for you. If you feel this video helped you make a decision, I ask that you hit the like and subscribe button, as that too goes a long way to show support. And I want to thank each of you for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye, everyone.